Dear students, welcome again to the course on Marketing of Financial Services. And this video, we would be having a brief idea of the concept called as Housing Finance. This video is outlined as we will try to understand the definition of housing finance, types of home loan, what in that we need to look at things to know before applying for, for a home loan, review your home loan periodically, why we should do that and what is the home loan tax benefit if you are going for a housing finance. Let us try to understand the concept of housing finance. In general, housing finance is defined as a system which is made to provide the funds which home buyers need to purchase their homes. It refers to the money we use to build and maintain the nation's housing stock. More precise the definition which is taken from Mark Bullet National Housing Financial System, a comparative study page 1 in the year 1985. It says, the purpose of a housing finance system is to provide the funds which home buyers need to purchase their homes. This is a simple objective and the number of ways in which it can be achieved is limited. Notwithstanding this basic simplicity, in a number of countries largely as a result of government action, very complicated housing finance system has been developed. However, the essential features of any system that is the ability to channel the funds of investors to those purchasing their homes must remain. That is what is being talked about the housing finance system internationally. Moving forward, let us try to look into what are the different types of home loan available. If you look at, there are nine different types of home loan available. There are various home loans which are offered by national or private banks or NBFC in India. We need to understand each of the options available to know which one is the best based upon the need of an individual. The first loan which we talk about is called as land purchase loan. This is a loan which are given by banking and non-banking financial companies to buy a plot or land which the loan applicant is looking to construct a house. Generally, bank or NBFC lends up to 80 to 85 percent of the price of the plot or land. Second type of loan is home purchase loan. Home purchase loan amount is utilized to buy a residential property. Financial institutions here also usually provides up to 80 to 85 percent market value of the house as loan amount. The interest rate on this loan is either fixed, floating or hybrid. Financial institutions also issue home loans to applicants who want to construct a house on a plot owned or co-owned by them. The loan application and approval process for home construction loans are different in certain aspects than from commonly available housing loan. That is what is a loan termed as third type of loan which is called as home construction loan. This includes a plot or land should have been bought within a year. Borrower has to make rough estimate of the cost that will be incurred for the construction of the house. If the cost of the plot is not included in the loan amount, only the estimation for the construction of house is taken into, into consideration when we consider home construction loan. The fourth type of loan which is mentioned is an home extension loan. 
This loan is generally taken up by individuals who want to expand or extend their existing house. Few banks differentiates this loan based on the purpose of expansion of the current house. Most loans or most bank includes this type of loan as a part of their home improvement loan. Fifth type of loan is a home improvement loan. Home improvement loan are the loans which are taken by the individuals who own a house but lack funds to re-innovate it. Re-innovation re includes repair of existing house, painting of walls, digging a bow bell, waterproofing and electrical wiring few to mention. The other type of home loan also is having a mention of something which is called as NRI home loan. NRI home loans are specialized home loans that assist non-resident Indians who are interested in buying residential property in India. Though the structure of this home loan variant is similar to a regular home loan but the paperwork is a bit more exhaustive for the NRI home loan. The next type of loan of consideration is home conversion loans. Existing home loan borrowers who wish to move into another property can avail a home conversion loan to buy a new house. It is also called as a bridged loan. <coughs> Bridge loans are short term loans that are designed for existing homeowners who are planning to purchase a new property. It aids borrowers to fund the purchase of new house until a buyer is identified for existing property. This type of loan usually requires mortgage of new house with a bank and is extended for less than two years. Several banks like Vijaya and HDFC offers bridge loan. Next type of loan and the last loan mentioned is called as stamp duty loan. Not a wide, widely known segment of home loan, stamp duty loans are offered to cover the stamp duty charges during the purchase of a property. With home loans becoming the norm of the day, when it comes to purchasing a home, it also becomes equally important to identify your requirements and apply for the right type of loan. Not only will it reduce the paperwork and simplify the loan approval process but it will also allow one to enjoy a loan at a reduced interest rate. As we are aware now with different types of loan, the next thing that comes to our mind is what are the things we need, need to consider before applying for, for the home loan eligibility. There are five points which I feel are need to be considered when you are applying for a home loan. Before applica application, we should analyze that. Owing an home in India is much of a personal achievement as it is a practical part. For many, purchasing their first home highlights their financial independence and serves as a foundation for their future goals. Thankfully, with ease availability of financing option, the gargantuan expense is lot easier to carry out, especially for prospective first-time buyers. Further, intelligent planning also allows you to buy your homes cost-effectively and affordably. So, these are few options, there are many more but the few which are worth to be considered when you apply for a home loan. The first and foremost criteria, we should look for the home loan eligibility criteria and required documents. Highly crucial 
factor to take note while getting a home loan is to check the lender specific eligibility criteria. This dictates whether or not you qualify for a sanction. Since most lenders have a strict set of credit parameter you are required to meet. Furthermore, you must also inquire about the required documentation as certain lenders may require additional document before they approve a loan. No. Thank you. With options like Bajaj House Financing Limited and many other LBFC companies, home loans, you one can qualify for a sanction with ease as offering has become fairly a simple criteria and with minimal requirement of for documentation. As a salaried individual for home loan, one must be resident of India and maintain employment at reputed organization with an experience of at least three years. Second important point is applicable fees, charges and home loan interest rates. Before anyone applies for home loan, one must inquire about the applicable charges for home loan interest available. This element factor into total cost of borrowing and can save you from opting for a loan that will end up costing heavily in longer. For first time borrowers, a notable charges should be taken note of like processing fee, EMI bounce charges, penal interest and some other charges which should be discussed and be known. For interest rate, very widely used EMI calculator can be used to accurately compute the total cost of given loan amount over tenor. Third is an available sanction, loan tenor and part payment or foreclosure policy. With home loan, knowing the maximum sanction alongside the maximum tenor is crucial information in decision making process. Picking an option that offers an appropriate sanction ensures that one don't have to make any compromises. Additionally, one should also look into the tenor as this is directly linked to the monthly outgo and having sufficient time to repay a large sum is key to avoiding default. Another factor to note is the home loan foreclosure and part payment policy. Fourth, which we should be aware of is availability of additional features or other home loan offers. Additional home loan offers can be immensely beneficial to you as a borrower. So one needs to keep an eye on the offering before choosing the right option. Let us move to the last point that buying a home loan insurance product is not mandatory. Generally, when you go for purchasing of a home loan, you are made to feel that buying a home loan insurance is mandatory. Dear student, here it is generally essential to have an insurance, no doubt. There is no doubt that while taking a home loan, the applicant must get his life covered adequately to protect his dependent from any financial hardship if something untoward happened to him during the loan tenure. But the applicant can get adequate life cover by purchasing a term plan as well which, is, which will be not economical than a bundled home insurance plan. So, if one is applying for a home loan, one must always choose to go for a term insurance plan instead of home insurance product and save a lot in the long run. These are few things which one should know before applying for a home loan. Once he has applied for a home loan and the property is purchased, the job does not end there. It is essential for the individual 
to review their home loan periodically their home loans need to be reviewed periodically the reason are very clear home loan is usually a commitment of 15 to 20 years however during this period many things can change including customers personal financial situation interest rate government policies and the state of economy it is always important to keep track of the outstanding amount of the home loan a regular review helps us to take prudent decision with respect to the loan foreclosure balance transfer or top up let us try to understand what are these terms for us to know first is called as balance transfer to be able to take advantage of lower interest rate or better services one may want to transfer home loan to another bank for this one needs to have a timely emi payment history and a good credit score so that you can get transferred your home loan to the other bank second concept written here is foreclosure one may consider foreclosing the entire loan or paying up part of the outstanding loan to bring down the emi or tenure of the loan a written application for this will help you to carry out but it is important to take the custody of original property papers from the financer on closing the home loan and the third concept given is top up loan a top up loan can be taken to meet financial needs up to the originally sanctioned home loan account just need to fill a form or online and avail the top up facility which is on submission of kyc documents it is a personal loan and hence the interest rate is on higher side from this now we move to the last and most important aspect of our consideration is there any tax benefit for home loan yes there are four income tax benefits home loan borrowers shouldn't miss out on or should be aware of one is under section 80c deduction up to rupees 1.5 lakh on home loan principal repayment one can claim tax deduction up to 1.5 lakh under section 80c for repayment of principal component of home loan also point number 2 we are trying to understand is you have an income tax deduction also available under section 24b there you have a deduction up to 2 lakh on interest repaid during pre and post construction period interest repaid on home loan is classified in two categories that is interest pertaining to the pre construction and post construction period as far as interest paid in the post construction period for self occupied property is concerned tax deduction up to rupees 2 lakh can be claimed under section 24b of income tax in a case of let out property there is no upper limit for claiming interest deduction remember that deduction can only be claimed from the year in which construction of house is completed most of us avail a home loan for purchasing under construction property wherein one receive possession at a later date but home loan repayment starts immediately after availing a loan such a borrower can also claim tax deduction under section 24b on interest paid during pre construction period for 5 years in 5 equal installments remember that a maximum amount that can be claimed remains cash at an overall limit of rupees 2 lakh per year including both pre and post construction interest due to other sections include 
section 80 EEA that is an additional interest deduction of up to rupees 1.5 lakh under affordable housing for home loan sanction between 1st april 2019 and 31st march 2020 which helps us to create more credit and section 80c is applied for deduction for stamp duty and registration charges one can also claim tax benefits on stamp duty registration charges other expenses which are directly related to the transfer of property which we had paid during purchase of house property these charges can be claimed within the overall limit of 1.5 lakh under section 80c dear friends one need to understand that such deduction can only be claimed in a year in which expenses have incurred with the end and analyzing the most important benefit home loan has in terms of tax i conclude a concept of housing finance in which we try to analyze what is the definition of housing finance what are the different types of loans available what are the things we need to consider on purchasing what are the things we need to periodically review and what is the benefit of home loan in terms of tax benefit with this i conclude conclude this video on home or house financing thank you